Last year I spent two weeks traveling all across New Zealand's South Island. My main goal was to photograph its beautiful nature and amazing Lord of the Rings-like landscapes. It's been an incredible journey and I really want to share it with you. So in this series we'll be visiting various locations in New Zealand and we're starting today with the lovely coastal town of Kaikoura. So Kaikoura is mostly popular with tourists for two things. First is whale watching. There are many tours here where you can uh, go out to the ocean and uh, hopefully see some whales. The second is this place right here. This is a peninsula and there is like this viewpoint here where you're supposed to see the uh, seal colony. And in fact, we actually saw a couple there just a few minutes ago, but that's not why we're here. My purpose in this trip is making beautiful images. So what I'm doing is basically scouting this place, scouting this hike that goes around the peninsula. There's a lot of rocks here, a lot of little bays with pools of water. And I'm thinking that tomorrow morning for sunrise, this is going to be a great, great spot because because of the way it's positioned, the sun is going to be rising there in the ocean. The hike that goes around the peninsula takes about an hour to complete. If you only have a limited time in the area, this is definitely the place to go for some good images or to simply enjoy the beauty of the place. Depending on the time of the year, it may be a decent sunset location as well, but not in October when we were there, as the sun is setting behind the shoreline cliffs, which is less than ideal. So after a bit of scouting, we decided to go to another viewpoint for sunset and come back in the morning. A good spot for sunset that I recommend is a viewpoint called the Kaikoura Lookout, located on the hill above the town. It's a very short drive from the coast and the observation deck is right next to the parking lot, so no hiking is required. Here you will have a beautiful view to both sides of the peninsula, with the sun setting behind the hills to the left and a panorama of Kaikoura and the mountains behind to the right, giving you creative freedom as to what you want to shoot. One thing to be aware of is that there is a very annoying lamppost that gets into the frame whenever you shoot the town, so you will either have to be flexible with the composition or simply get rid of it in Photoshop later, as I did. I guess if there's any benefit to jet lag is that it makes waking up early much easier. I woke up at 4 this morning 
and just came back here to uh, Kaikoura Peninsula to shoot sunrise. I hiked the coastal trail in the darkness until I found this spot. I actually knew what I wanted to shoot because I, when I was preparing for my trip, I took a look at all the photos online from Kaikoura. So I knew approximately how things look. What I had in mind was this um, kind of like a bay formed by the cliffs from both sides, uh, which create the leading lights towards the sky where the sun is going to be rising. And so I came here and I found this spot. And so I set up here and the sun is just rising there. And it's such a, such a beautiful sunrise. I mean, I'm really lucky today to have a sunrise like this. This is, this is simply incredible. Doing two shots. One is just the usual landscape shot. The other is kind of the same shot, but I'm shooting the panorama. Nothing very complicated here. I use a polarizer to just bring out a little bit more contrast in the water. And then, because of the low hanging clouds on the horizon, there is not a huge dynamic range difference, so it all fits into just one shot. And yeah, very easy. Just make the shot. So the sunrise is over, the sun is high in the sky now and I'm going to be packing my things and heading back to the hotel. And I just wanted to say that I really, I really, really would love to stay more here in Kaikoura. Um, because I'm, I'm actually quite impressed, I mean it proved to be such a lovely, beautiful town. But our itinerary is packed unfortunately and we have like every single day we have something planned up so we have to keep moving we're going towards Abel National Park today we're not going to be exploring the park because it's just too huge but I do have a hike planned for it and I'm hoping for some great shots so that's going to be a part of the next episode I hope to see you there uh, but for now thank you so much for watching I hope you like this one I hope you enjoyed my coverage of this little beautiful town called Kura. and if you did please give me a like subscribe to my channel there's tons of content about New Zealand that's gonna be coming up in the next weeks so hope to see you all there and until then bye bye <laughs>